Hi guys, happy Friday. I'm gonna go over today's um, phonics paper. It is lesson 154, page 307 to 308. This is a review page. Um, and so the top here, it says these children are on a hike with the park rangers. They lined up in ABC order. Look at the first letter of each child's name. Number the children's name in ABC order. So you're gonna find which one would come first. We have Z, C, E, E. A or N, which letter comes first in the alphabet? A does, so we're gonna put a one, and then you'll go through and do two, three, four, five, and six, and then you're gonna color the picture nice and neatly. All right, flip it to the back. It says write the nouns as possessive nouns. So remember, possessive shows ownership, so that's when we use our apostrophe S to show ownership. So Kelly's family visited the National Park. Whose family? Kelly's, the family belongs to Kelly, so that's why it's a possessive noun, okay? And then um, for this one, you're gonna make park into a possessive noun, book into possessive, ranger into possessive. Number two, mark the incomplete thoughts, make the incomplete thoughts into sentences by adding your own words. So, after I woke up this morning, that's not a sentence, so fill in. What did you do after you woke up? this morning. I would write, after I woke up this morning, I walked to the coffee pot, right? That's what I do first thing in the morning. So fill it in. And then number three, underline the verb twice and the subject once. Draw a line between the subject and predicate and diagram the sentences. Lots of things to do here, okay? So first we need to underline the verb twice and subject once. Carl saw three bison on Tuesday. So first let's do the subject. Who was the who in this sentence? Carl, right? And what did Carl do? What's the verb? He saw. So my up and down line goes between my subject and my predicate, okay? So Carl, and then everything after my subject is my predicate. And so when I diagram, it looks just like this. I'm gonna put Carl on the left. Carl is my subject. And what did Carl do? He saw, and that's my verb, so that's gonna go on the right. And then you can do the next two on your own. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend. Um, talk to you later, bye-bye.